Shalom. Mm -hmm. To start, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahushai by Hashem, Kakudash. The one is the apostles out of the most on the Shalom to the Hakim teaching his word. Through the four corners and choose security. And back on that lesson through the spirit, probably Yahweh by Hashem, Yahushai, and wilderness had a fire. What I wanted to get into is, you know, we want to be like Noah. Okay? We want to be like Noah. Okay? You know, because in Noah's time, okay, what was he doing? You know, he was pleasing the Lord. Okay? He was prophet, he was preaching, he was prophesying. Okay? You know, he didn't give up. Okay? He endured. Okay? You know, unto the end, so to say. Okay? He did what he had to do. You know, he, he proved himself for the Lord, man. Okay? And, what, and, what, and because of what he was doing, the Lord found mercy. He found a grace. He found grace in the eyes of the Lord. He found favor in the eyes of the Lord, man. Okay? You know, and we want to be like Noah, okay? You know, he, you know, when the Lord told him what was about to go down, what he did, you know, he made the ark. He didn't take no days off, okay? He stood stiffly, okay? You know, and especially you already know in his time, you know, he's probably going to get laughed at, you know, scoffed at, you know, the same thing that we're going through now, okay? No one went through, okay? You know, but I'm going to start with Genesis. <clears throat> Genesis 6, uh... Start at eight. It says, uh, start at seven. It says, And Lord Yahweh said, uh, said I will destroy man whom I've created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping thing, and the fowls of the air, for repenting me to have made them. Because there was a lot of wickedness going on at that time. Okay. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord Yahweh. Okay. And when you go into that word, uh, grace in the blue letter, Okay. It says. It says favor, grace, charm, favor, grace, ele ele elegance, favor, acceptance. Okay, pleasant, precious, right? So, you know, he know it was precious, you know, to the Lord in those times, man. Okay, he found, he found, he was, he was pleased with him. Okay, I'm going to say that word pleasant right quick. Pleasant. Enjoyable, friendly, giving a sense of happy satisfa satisfaction. It says pleasing, pleasure, pleasurable, satisfying, good, acceptable to one's liking. Okay, delightful, charming. Okay, beautiful. Uh, it says friendly, agreeable, amenable, nice, likable. Okay, lovely, good humor, personable, hospitable, good natured, helpful, considerate, cheerful. Okay, you know, it goes on, man. Okay, so, the Lord, hey, you know, the Lord was pleased with him. Okay, despite everybody else. Okay. Continuing on, it says, These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations, and Noah walked with the Most High. Right? You know, why was Noah a just and, and perfect man? Okay, why was he righteous despite of everybody else? Okay, I'm going to read this too. It's in Genesis 7 and 1. It says, and the Lord Yahweh said unto Noah, Come thou and all thy house into the ark, for thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. See? You know, why was that, man? Okay. You know, I'm going to get uh, second, second Peter. Second Peter 2 and 4. Start at 4. It says, the point is in 5. It says, For the most high spirit, not the angels that sinned. Those angels talking about the elect. And they sinned uh, in the time with Adam and Eve. Okay, through that doctrine. Okay, it says, but cast them down to hell. You know, hell is just a condition. Or the grave. And it says, and deliver them into change of darkness, you know, the, the flesh, to be reserved into judgment. And spare not the old world, but save no other person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the word of the ungodly. All right, so Noah was a prophet. You know, he was teaching the word, man. Okay? He was teaching the word. <clears throat> you know, telling the people to, to repent, telling them that what the flood is coming, the same way how we tell the people that the missiles is coming, the, the, the Noah was telling people that the flood was coming, okay? You know, I'm going to get this right quick, too. In Second Peter 3 and 6, it says, we'll start at 4, it says, And saying where's the promise of his coming, for since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the, the creation. You know, you got men saying, hey, you know, hey, I've been hearing that. Ben's hearing about the Lord's coming back, blase, blase. You know, scoffing. Okay. It says, for this they are really ignorant of 
that the, by the word of the Most High, the heavens which were of old, and the earth standing out of the water were in, and in the water, were by the word by were by the world that that then was being overflowed, or water perish. But the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition and ungodly men. You know, say hey, you know. We, you know, as the days are known, we in those same times, man. Okay, let us just say in Matthew 24 and 36. You know, it says, But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Right, so only the, Yahweh knows when when the, uh, when Yahweh Shai is coming back. Yahweh the, with whom the world calls God. And Yahweh Shai, you know, is whom the world ignorantly calls, you know, JC, you know, Jesus, okay, his name is Yahweh Shai, you know, and his name meaning, you know, he saves or he delivers, okay, he says, uh, but uh, but as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be, for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be, all right, so. You know, they was, you know, doing folly the same way they're doing now. Okay, they marrying and drinking, you know, partying and not paying attention to what's going on. Okay, but Noah, okay, you know, he was preaching. He was prophesying. You know, he was doing the work. He was building the ark like the Lord told him to. Okay. You know, he he was, he was he wanted to please the Lord, man. He, he was in that uh, spirit of repenting. Okay, daily doing the work. Okay. Everybody else was on bullshit. Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm going to go back to Genesis 6. It says, uh, where was that? 9, it says, These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations. And Noah walked with the Most High. And Noah begot three, three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The earth was also corrupt before the Most High, and the earth was filled with violence. And the Most High looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt. For our flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. And the Most High said unto Noah, The end of our flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them, and I, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make thee an ark of gopher wood, room shall thou make in the ark, and shall pitch it within and without the pitch. Right? So the Lord told him that he was going to destroy the earth, okay, to, to make an ark. You know, and you skip down, it says, Thus did Noah, okay, according to all that the Most High commanded him, so did he. Right? And this is very important. Okay, you know, because a hey, Lord told him what was going to happen. He told him what to do and he did it. Okay, you know, same thing with us. The Lord told us what's, what's about to happen. He, he telling us how to get delivered from it. Okay, we just got to do what's commanded of us, man. Okay, like the scriptures say, you know, stand steady for the name. Okay, and their hardness, you know, etc. Start to do the work of the evangelists. You know, make, okay, what it says in Second Peter, you know, so we must carry ourselves in a certain way. You know, Second Peter three, uh, eleven. It says, matter of fact, I'm just continue on where I stopped at. I'm gonna start at eight. It says, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some may clout slackness, but is long suffering to us, word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Now that all is talking about the elect, okay. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. So, right? So the earth is going to be, the elements are going to melt due to the, so much, due to the 200 million warheads that are going to be touching down on America. Okay? And it says, the point, it says, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of prisons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Right? So, you know, we must act a certain way. Our conduct must be separate from everybody else's, man. Okay. You know. <clears throat> you know, Noah was carrying himself a certain way. He was prophesying. You know, he listened to what was commanded of him. You know, same thing that we must do. That's why I said we, we, we want to be like, you should want to be like Noah. Okay. We represent Noah. You know, many Noahs, you know, so to say. Okay. You know, because the Lord saw him as perfect, you know, righteous. Because of what he was doing, not saying he was perfect. Okay, we in the flesh, we all we all sin, okay. But in spite of everybody else, he was perfect. You know, everybody would have said they was marrying and drinking, basically doing. They was basically doing. They was doing wickedness. It's, it's, it tells you that you know, they was doing wickedness. It was corrupt, okay. So 
you know, in the spot of everybody else, he was looked at as perfect, okay? You know, same thing with us, you know, like we live in, like we live in today's society where wickedness is uh, at an all-time high, we're damn, near, we're damn near perfect, man, okay? You know, even though we do go off, we, we're, we're damn near perfect, man, you know, because nobody is really doing what we're doing in sincerity and in truth, okay? This is Sirach 44 and 17. It says, Noah was found perfect and righteous in the time of wrath. He was taken in exchange for the world. Therefore, he was left as a remnant unto the earth when the flood came. An everlasting covenant was made with him that our flesh should per perish no more by the flood. So, you know, no represented the elected in his time. Okay. You know, so saying it again, you know, let's compare it to now. Everybody's committing wickedness, right? Everybody's committing wickedness, and we're the only ones that are trying to please the Lord and doing the work and prophesying and etc. Okay, so we're, we're 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 damn near perfect, man. Okay, you know, compared to everybody else, you know, I might even go say perfect. We're just we're just you know better than what everybody better than everybody else, man, because we're the ones trying to please the Lord. Okay, you know. <coughs> You know, I want to get one more in Psalm 32. And I close out. Psalm 32 and 1, it says, A Psalm of David, Mass Chill. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man whom unto the whom the Lord you out imputed not iniquity, and whose spirit there is no guile. So you see, you know, the elect are going to get their sins forgiven. Okay? Like it's going to be that they're going to have a clean slate because of what they're uh, because of what they're what they're going to be doing. Okay, and what they did, you know, as Noah. Okay. You know, not saying he ain't sin, okay? Because we all sin, okay? But, you know, we need our sins forgiven of us. You know, how is that going to happen by doing the work, you know, of the Lord, okay? You know, so we should, you know, start to be like, no, because he got saved despite everybody else. You know, he's the only, he was the only one that was righteous in his time. Because I write this Genesis 71 told you. He says, I seen that. It, I'm reading it again, matter of fact. You know, I'm reading it one more time, then I close. Genesis 71. And the Lord Yahweh said unto Noah, Come thou and all thy house into the ark. For thee have I seen the righteous before me in this generation. Him. It was him. Okay. It was him. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. I almost forgot to read Hebrews. I forgot to read Hebrews 11 and 6. It says, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the most, I must believe that he is. That he is a reward of them that diligently seek him, right? So, you know, you got to have faith. You got to believe, okay? This is by faith, being one of the most high of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the setting of his house by the which he condemned the world and became heir of righteousness, which is by faith, right? So, you know, faith mixed with fear, okay? You no know, believed, you know, he, he, he moved with fear, okay? He made the ark, man. And it says by that which, and by that, it says by the which he can redeem the world, All right? Because, hey, you know, they know, Noah told them what was going to happen. Okay, the Lord told, the Lord told Noah and Noah told them. So Noah changed, you know, he changed his ways, okay? You know, he, he, he you know, he started working, pleasing the Lord. And Noah told them they didn't want to change. Okay, then when the flood happened, okay? You know, because they had, they had their chance, man. Okay, hey, the Lord flooded, flooded the earth. Okay, you know, but with that little willingness, that was edifying. I'm gonna give our praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Al Shai, by Hashem, Rekafi Dash, the bonds to the apostles, and others being most of the Shalom to the Hakim, teaching this word through the four corners, entrance, and surety. We must out of here, Shalom.